Hello and welcome to another episode of our special series, Beating All Odds. In this series, we are speaking to leaders who are showing us the way forward in these difficult times of lockdown where COVID-19 has just uh, put a complete hold on most of the businesses, which will in long run impact our economy. But we have leaders who are ensuring that despite all the challenges, we are continuing with as much as we can while being in the lockdown sitting at home. With me today is one such leader, Mr. Anand Bhatkamkar, uh, CEO Dan India. Welcome to the show, sir. I'm really sorry if I pronounced your surname incorrectly. Uh, no, no, you pronounced it uh, quite, quite properly. Thanks, thanks, Nazia, and happy to be here. Pleasure. So, uh, I want to begin uh, by asking that today it's it's we're almost settled into the lockdown now. It's it's almost the third week and. Uh, it's been extended now. Uh, how are you managing your business? How are you managing your employees, your teams? So it's 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 a new experience all around. It's, it's for everyone actually. The entire advertising industry went into this. So when it started, initially the thoughts were whether we can uh, do this, whether it's feasible, because uh, as, as a whole, the entire organization or the entire uh, country uh, working from home, that was something which was not anticipated and uh, too many uh, apprehensions or, or sort of too many questions at that point of time. But uh, we started a bit early uh, in the day because uh, as a country, uh, being part of the multinational network, we had seen in our other markets in China or our European and American markets, this already had started and people had started working, taking action. There were learnings from our uh, network agencies or uh, learnings from our uh, counterparts in other markets. So that was quite helpful. The teams were geared uh, from the beginning and we started working towards uh, this uh, work from home kind of a concept uh, uh, 10 days in advance before the actual lockdown started in uh, India or when the PM announced that. So uh, in a way, a bit of forward planning and uh, more, more importantly, I think the resilience of the team and uh, the way teams have responded, not only our teams, but even our clients or our vendors or our entire ecosystem because we all are sending to the same boat. So it's not something which is uh, specific to some uh, segment or where is, uh, at some specific areas. The entire economy, the entire spectrum is impacted because of this. And uh, the good part is uh, people are willing to support each other and trying to make the most out of this. So yeah, we are now in the middle of the lockdown completely and uh, up to 30th now for sure. Um, but people are finding ways of uh, sort of making this uh, happen as well and then sort of making most of it, if I can say that. How about clients? Because uh, they are a little more demanding than employees. So how are you dealing with your clients right now? So it's, it's all, again, it's work from home. That's a new experience for our uh, client uh, interactions as well. Because uh, earlier it used to be every alternate day or, or every day the teams used to be with the clients and then meeting with the clients or or uh, face-to-face uh, -face interactions, that has shifted to your uh, Microsoft Teams calls or Zoom calls or, or uh, the con calls. That has not gone down, but definitely uh, as an advertising industry or as an advertising uh, segment, the spends have gone down. So the work-wise, there's definitely a sort of a bit of a slowdown, but the client's interest or client's uh, interaction and the core concern and care for the brands and how do they want to sort of get ready when this entire thing gets over because this is going to get over. How they are going to get ready for that, that still continues and kind of messaging they want to take out to consumers. So that has still continued. So uh, what's missing is a physical interaction which the teams had with the clients or one-on-one or, uh, -on -one meetings if you can call it, but uh, still the interaction continues and then uh, Overall you, work sort of still continues to happen. Would you give us some ratio of like what's the drop in the uh, ad spends? Some uh, ratio? It's, it's too early for that just now, Nazia. But it's definitely going to be a substantial impact because IPL uh, was supposed to start from 14. That's not going to happen now. Um, we had Goa Fest as uh, three years of I, uh, our, our annual festival. That has gone off. A lot of advertising spends have been pushed back. So when this comes back at that point of time, uh, we can see exactly what is the impact, but is definitely impacting uh, half of March was, like you take example of events companies or out of home companies, that's almost come to a zero, right? Because there are no spends uh, on those activities. Digital TV, uh, while there's uh, more viewership or there's more sort of uh, consumer or viewer footfalls over there, 
but that's not actually converting into ad spends. So that's something which has come down quite, quite substantially across all. But what's getting felt more is actually on event, wherever there's personal interaction or, or people wanting to be out there in the market, that is massively impacted. Uh, overall, uh, when the lockdown gets out, we can get a view because currently we are thinking that it should come back by Diwali and things might sort of start reviving. Uh, current year is going to be definitely a challenging year for industry as a whole, but uh, it's not that, uh, that there's no uh, hope at all. There's a lot of positives coming out of this. Clients are still engaging, clients are still uh, working along. You also have some difficult clients like Maruti. I mean, in the sense, uh, automobile industry has been very slow for last one and a half years. Now we have this new crisis. Then you have Goer as your client, right? Again, another industry which has really been hit very badly. And it's almost like the operations are shut completely. What kind of uh, media advice are you giving to these clients? Or in general, clients, uh, industries which have really seen a very big hit after COVID-19. Yeah, it's not uh, specifically uh, restricted to only uh, these industries or these segments. It's actually all across. But if you see currently what's definitely uh, happening is clients are taking a relook at their overall spends. More than spends actually is their business uh, uh, pattern or how their business is uh, working out. And what was going to be the challenges to the business because the entire uh, uh, ecosystem has sort of uh, been impacted, right? Because there's no movement. Manufacturing has almost come to a standstill. So the demand generation is going to take some time. So all across what even we are advising the clients is not to be completely media dark. You will need to be there out there in the market uh, with the brand. Uh, uh, so somewhere you need to be uh, reaching out to their core consumers. And uh, it's not the product uh, placement or product advertisement as of now in these days, but it's more on how you are engaging with the uh, customers or your ultimate consumers and then uh, being relevant and doing that purpose driven or responsible advertising. That's something which is quite critical. And at the same time, this is a good time to sort of plan for future as well. Because one is this immediate thing, uh, next two, three months, how do I uh, keep engaging with my uh, customer or my consumer base? But more than that, when the things start coming back, because then there would be a spike in the demand, I should be ready for that also. Working with the customers on that, and that's across the industry segments actually. And uh, how do I keep uh, ready for that? Because you can't be just completely at zero. And from there, you can't just uh, switch into if I take auto. You can't be in the fourth or fifth gear uh, on immediate basis. That will take some time. So you need to be ready for that and gear for that. Uh, that's something which needs to uh, sort of follow through. So when we are discussing with the clients, it's around these also, how the strategy and how the business planning is coming through. Uh, most of the questions that we have discussed so far are a little uh, depressing in the sense that there's nothing <laughs> great happening right now. But... Uh, Eventually, things will come to an end. And uh, what kind of uh, hope or messaging would you want to give to youngsters or the industry, which is uh, which is a little anxious to know uh, where uh, will this lead us to? Yeah. See, uh, as a country or as an economy, we definitely are poised for great things. I mean, India definitely has bright future, and uh, in the long term, it's definitely going to be. Uh, hugely successful economy and a country. That's for sure. And I do believe strongly in that. And so does our network as well. And uh, that's something which is bound to happen. So this is a short term phenomena in, in, in that overall perspective, right? So this is going to end. There is definitely light at the end of the tunnel. If you say from gloomy perspective, that's something which is definitely going to come out. But these days are somewhere you can't escape because that's something as a, a entire country or it's a global pandemic. Everyone is uh, going through this. So you need to be quite, uh, first you need to acknowledge that this is a challenge which is staring us in the face and it could be there for next two months, three months, uh, four months, uh, which we need to sail through together. So one is staying together as a team, not losing hope for sure and being positive. You have to be optimistic, uh, eternal optimist. That's what I keep on telling our guys as well. Right? So you have to be extremely positive and uh, just look at the positives and be ready for future when the things start coming back. A is you sort of uh, batten the hatches just now because there are storm, stormy weather outside or you need to sort of uh, ride through those rough waves. But once that is done, you need to be ready to go out and start winning uh, those clients, uh, delivering that excellent work to uh, clients and uh, start speaking with the consumers. That's something you need to be ready with. So one is be positive, 
uh, from leaders perspective keep on communicating uh, with the teams keep on uh, inspiring them and keep on passing those positive messages and uh, very transparently uh, communicating with them where uh, the entire thing is moving so that's something which uh, uh, will go a long way uh, working together as a team do those uh, regular calls regular meetings uh, engage hr more and more on uh, inspirational uh, ways of working or uh, sort of for um, uh, welfare or health uh, checks for the employees i think that's something which is critically you need to uh, take through and from employee perspective one is definitely plan your future uh, how you are looking at uh, and uh, one is self introspection and self learning because now is a good time to learn uh, whatever skills you want, want wanted to have sort of maybe it might be just uh, some uh, personal skill you wanted to have that uh, maybe music or maybe some instrument or, or something like that or there are so many online courses so go on those online courses something to do with management or self help something like that so but pick up that one skill or pick up that one sort of uh, added uh, i won't say a degree but a certificate or something when you have this time uh, and this opportunity available to you because moment things open up you start traveling if you are in mumbai or delhi uh, gurgaon or bangalore you spend 2 hours 3 hours just being on the road so just now you at least uh, avoiding that so definitely people are working a lot more as as compared to when you in, used to be in the office but uh, definitely there is more time to be had on your hands also if you can plan that properly so i think that's somewhere you need to see but uh, definitely it's positive and it's going to be much much better than it's today so that that's for sure and and i know you have to rush you have a meeting to attend one last question uh, this unprecedented lockdown has uh, has changed all of us in different ways it has had its own impact how has it evolved you as a professional or as a person uh, what what are the changes you see in your lifestyle day to day whether it is work or in person your personal life that uh, this lockdown has brought in so the biggest change that has brought in is my look actually because i sort of changed my hairstyle completely so that yeah, was I one i was trying to sort of uh, experiment with that i think i would say that that's something which has <laughs> worked uh, but besides that even i'm trying to do some uh, courses online courses or sort of something to learn or uh, some something which i have been saying i'll do for a long time uh, some language to sort of uh, brush up upon a uh, bit like that Uh, more than that then it's more time to myself with the family uh, working together it's partly it's mandatory but at the same time it's something which you get to spend more uh, spending time with my uh, son with uh, my wife and sort of uh, discussing more which we may not have discussed uh, in in your routine sort of uh, matters actually or day to day uh, work so that's something and then uh, some uh, shows at home actually doing some shows at home uh, started sort of trying to get my hand in the kitchen no not so much but so somewhere around that so a bit like that so on professional front it's more on learning uh, work wise it it just continues there are calls and uh, calls and there would be uh, meetings in that sense but it's more like a better mix of personal and professional life i think that's that's something which this is giving and uh, what it's uh, taught quite quite strongly is uh, anything can happen actually because no one had imagined that uh, such a thing like will happen you are into a phase where you know what the problem is and uh, i think none of us had experienced this before right because you don't know the answer and as as a human being you are quite keen or as more structured uh, people if you are professionals you want to know what is the outcome and you want to plan for the outcome the biggest challenge many are facing just now is because you don't know what is the outcome because there's no uh, cure as of now for the disease so working in those times and uh, still keeping uh, the ambition and then sort of uh, running uh, on day to day that's something which is important and what's more pleasing is the way all the teams have rallied around uh, our 3700 employees in india uh, the way they have come together and then sort of uh, fighting against this at personal level at uh, professional level at organization level i think that's that's much 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 pleasing and most pleasant thing which i see over here that we have come together as one dan much more strongly than uh, you would have seen even earlier as well so that uh, spirit continues actually that's one of the uh, most pleasing things actually and and uh, we are running out of time so i wish we had more time and i could have asked you more questions but i respect the fact that you have uh, some prior appointments uh, thank you so much for talking to us and uh, wish you all the best stay at home stay safe Thanks pleasure talking to you and uh, take care and stay safe stay at home
See you. Thanks, Evan. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you.